Hello and welcome to my channel. First of all, please don't mind my fantastic accent or my bad English skills. If you clicked on this video, it means that you already had some problems with the Tyrannis fail safes or lockouts during flight. I personally encountered this problem around 4 months ago, where sometimes very close to myself I had lockouts and failsafe. The frustrating thing is that it doesn't happen all the time. It usually happens when you are in a crowded RF space, next to cell towers or other things like that. The first thing that popped in my mind was of course the receivers, because after a lot of crashes you get bent antennas or broken antennas and stuff like that. After changing the receiver, I noticed I got the same lockouts or fail safes, and again it happened very close to myself. After that it came a long road of searching for the problem. And it didn't pass my mind that the transmitter was actually the problem. When did I realize that? When I was configuring a new transmitter for one of my friends, I noticed that buzzing sound on the speaker. If you remember, the first time you used the Tyrannis, you heard some buzzing sound from the speaker. That usually means that the audio amplifier is not shielded and the RF uh, field gets inside and messes all the audio frequency up. But when I realized that my Tyrannis is not making that buzzing sound anymore, I had an Evrica moment. I started to study the topology used in free sky transmitters or receivers. And what I found was that you find the same topology inside the free sky transmitters or free sky receivers. Actually, it's the same schematics with some modifications. For example, in the free sky transmitters, especially the Tyrannis Plus, you find a directional coupler which is used to measure the forward and the reflected RF power. The topology is very simple. You have a 2.4G transceiver and you have a front end. The front end usually does two things. It does pre-amplification for receiving and it also does amplification for the transmitting and you also have a switch inside which switches from receiving to transmitting. After studying the datasheet of the front end device, it clearly says that it can be destroyed by electrostatic discharge. After studying forum posts and talking to FreeSky uh, support, I found out that the receivers have some afterthought modifications by adding two inductors on the antenna lines. And that usually means you have some degree of uh, electrostatic uh, discharge protection. But on the transmitter side, you don't have such uh, ESD protection. So, a lot of us are modding our Tyrannis Plus to add some uh, bigger gain antennas. But be very careful, because if you touch the live wire, you can damage your front-end device. If you want to repair it, you have two options. One is just go and buy the whole board replacement for the Tyrannis Plus. And the second one, if you are very good with soldering, you can just replace the chip. You can order it from China or from DigiKey or other places that have this uh, device in stock. You can also take the device from a working receiver and just transplant it in the Tyrannis Plus. Okay, thank you very much for watching and again please excuse my fantastic accent and uh, English skills and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!